Okay, so today we're in the 2013 Ford Fiesta, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up the NVH on your PicoScope diagnostic software. And uh, we're gonna be using our OBD Link MX Plus for our pass-through device. And so there's a few things we're gonna have to know to get this set up. Um, if you don't know these things, you're gonna, you're gonna run into difficulties, mostly just getting this thing connected. So uh, first of all, obviously, we're gonna plug this in uh, down here in our data link connector. Okay, so once you've got that turned on, you'll see that it starts flashing the blue light. That means it's trying to, to, to pair with, uh, with something. If that ever stops blinking at that speed, then there's a little tiny button on the bottom left corner of that. You push it again and it will start trying to pair again. Now, the issue that you run into is if you have Windows uh, 11, uh, there's there's a bit of difficulties because the Bluetooth settings on your computer aren't right. If you are using Windows 10, it should be just as simple as going into your settings and pairing with a Bluetooth device, and then it should work. If it doesn't work, um, I'll show you uh, another tip here in a second. But we are using Windows 11 on this computer, so the first thing we have to do is go into our settings, click on Bluetooth and devices, and then click on devices, and then down here on the Bluetooth device discovery, it will automatically default to this default setting and you need to click on the advanced. Once you click on advanced, you should start seeing your OBD link tool pop up in your uh, device discovery window here when you go to click and add a device, and you can see that I've already, mine's already right here. Now when you first do this, it will connect maybe for like a second and then it will disconnect and then it will always just read not connected in here and according to OBD Link's website that is normal. So what they recommend you do and this goes for if you're having uh, connection issues on the Windows 10 version as well is make sure you have your OBD Wiz software downloaded up here and once you get that set up you go into your connection on that Make sure you've selected Bluetooth, and then you should start discovering all the Bluetooth devices nearby, and you'll see your device pop up, and when it does, pair with it here, and once you pair with it on the OBD Wiz software, it is paired and ready on your laptop. Okay? So that's the first hurdle you're going to have to overcome when you're doing your MVH with, with the OBD Link MX Plus. Now I'll just leave that program running. And now the next step is to open the Pico diagnostic software. And you'll already have your PicoScope plugged in, hopefully. You have to make sure that the PicoScope you're using is NVH enabled. All the ones that we're using here in this shop, we have labeled here and on the box. So make sure you have one of those. Um, if you're trying to use a PicoScope that is not enabled, then obviously this isn't gonna work at all. So then we're gonna click on the NVH tab and the first thing it will do is try to connect with the pico scope and it looks like it did that already so we're going to click start a new test and now it's going to try to use whatever pass through device that that you have plugged in and that's the that's the obd link mx plus so we're going to click next and the more often that you do this the faster it will connect i've only done it once so it might take a second or two let it discover Okay, so I finally got that thing to connect. I ended up having to close the program a couple times, and I even closed the OBD Wiz program, which is funny because last time I did it, it worked just fine while it was open. But either way, once you give it a couple tries, and like I said, the more you do it, it'll get faster and better at this. So we are now connected. We're going to click uh, Next, and then you're going to start giving uh, the program information about the vehicle. So we are working on a four-cylinder inline. It is front-wheel drive. Uh, verify that your tire sizes are correct, and they are on this one, so we'll click Next. And then we are using a three-channel. looks like this. Okay, so we're going to pick that over here. The three-channel will enable us to do uh, tests using this accelerometer. So that accelerometer is the tool that we're going to use and then it kind of shows you how to do your setup so let me get set up real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like
Okay, so we followed this diagram on here, and as you can see on the PicoScope, we have the colored leads that come with the NVH kit plugged in, and they go straight across into the interface, the three channel. And then on this side, we have plugged in our accelerometer. The other end of that looks like, looks like this right here. And it's got, uh, it has this little cover that they keep on there to protect that magnet. So you can go ahead and take that off now. And then we're gonna click next and it will tell us where it wants us to put it. So this is a picture of the driver's seat rail. And we wanna place this this uh, magnet on the seat rail there. And you can see that there's a little diagram on the side that shows your X, Y, Z axes. And on here it wants X facing forward. X also always correlates with this little threaded hole on the front. So basically we just wanna set that down on the seat rail with that threaded hole forward. So we're just gonna reach, I know you can't see down there, but I'm just reaching under there. And I've got that magnetized to the seat rail down there you can kind of see it right there okay so now we're gonna click next again and it says we've completed our setup so we'll finish that and this is what the what the software looks like so um, your setup is complete uh, I'll make a separate video on actually running the test uh, but before before you leave let me show you also that there is another tool that you can use that plugs in and this one looks like this. This is the microphone tool. And to use the microphone, it only operates on a single channel. So when you're doing your setup on here, uh, rather than picking the three, the three channel interface, even though that's what you're using, you'll just select single channel interface and then you'll only plug into this, this, middle, this middle channel here. Uh, for the setup but uh, anyways that that's how you get it all uh, ready to go and then we'll make a separate video for for actually taking measurements and and analyzing there you go